Today I'm going to show you what I can about controlling and limiting the content on this Amazon Kids tablet. Welcome back to Tech Baby. We have a few videos on this tablet. You can check those out on our channel. And people have been asking us, how do you control the number of apps that show up here? It's kind of an overwhelming dashboard. Um, and I think more importantly, some people just want to limit which apps show up. They only want their kids to have certain apps as opposed to the baseline where it's literally tons, endless apps. Um, and we had some recommendations for managing the busy dashboard in our video, which basically just uses the favorites. So when you hold an app, you can add it to favorites. What I'm going to show you now are some other tricks that I've figured out. So this is as of March 2022. Things are always changing. This might not apply by the time you see the video, but I'll show you what I've figured out. So someone on the app helped us um, explaining that you could turn the app onto flight mode. So airplane mode, flight mode, whatever you call it. What that does is it only um, has the downloads available. So only apps that have been downloaded are now accessible on here. And that's essentially going to be any app that your kid has opened that's still saved. When you run out of space, it'll start removing these. But so what you could do is you could turn it onto flight mode. If you turn it on to flight mode before you've loaded all these apps, it'll be empty and you'll have the opportunity to select only the apps you want um, by opening them when you're online or adding them through the parent profile. Once you do have apps on here, if you don't want them, you can just you know pick any app. Let's say I don't want uh, this one here. So hold it, remove from device, and then it won't be here anymore. It won't be in the downloads. So that's, that's one way. You could also, um, using this flight mode way, you can go into the settings. So you go into the settings for that kid. Okay, so what you're doing is going to manage storage. What you could do, oh, so you could go view content and you can um, remove them all like this. So um, this is all of them. I could do archive now, it would, remove them all from the tablet. Then when you go into flight mode, there's nothing there. So that that's a basically a way to um, remove the apps that are downloaded and then use flight mode to only show the downloaded apps. The other way to do it is in the settings, you can go into uh, remove content and remove unwanted Amazon Kids Plus items. And you can remove any specific items you want. You can search for them or you can select manually. These are the items I've blocked so far. These are all the apps. Now, the big downside with this is like it's impossible to, if you want to remove most of them, it's basically impossible to click and select all of these. That would take forever. So I wouldn't recommend doing this, but it, it is a way to do it. Maybe if you want to spend a few minutes doing that, maybe you uh, limit the limit the age content and then go in and deselect all these, that would kind of solve it for you. Not necessarily what I recommend. The other option um, that I think is the best that I would that I would go for if I was um, really trying to remove all these apps is I would manage my subscription. I would remove my subscription because I don't want any of that content. Then I would be left in a place where I'll show you a different profile I have here. So now I'm starting up a kid's profile that does not have the subscription. This looks different. And essentially, this is a profile that only has the apps I've added through the parent profile. So if I go into settings again. So now, um, if I remove content, it doesn't have that Amazon Kids Plus unwanted because there is none of that. It's not on an Amazon Kids Plus. This is just kids. So I can add content. And you can also do this from the parent profile. And I could select um, any of the apps or books or games that I have on the adult profile and add them. So here's Amazon um, Khan Academy Kids Plus. This is a great educational app. And I could add Disney if I wanted. And that way I have a very um, curated experience for the child. So let's go into my apps. And basically now all I have here is Zoom. Um, Khan Academy learning app, a couple books, a book I've added, The Giving Tree, 
and another learning app, and, and that's really it. So this is how I would recommend doing it. You'll also save the monthly subscription. Why pay for that if you're not using all those apps or um, even a subset of them? And overall, that's my breakdown of how to do this. So just to, to refresh, you can either um, go into flight mode and remove the downloaded apps that you don't want. So now you're sitting in airplane mode, no connectivity, can't use things like Zoom in that case. Um, or you can um, individually remove apps from the settings. So you can, I guess the option two is to remove the apps individually from the settings, but that's very tedious. Or you can just um, remove your subscription and take a normal kids account that's not Kids Plus and add whichever content you want. So thanks to those in the comments who asked this question. Thanks to those who provided some solutions and I hope this is helpful for you. But reach out in the comments below if you have any further questions or thoughts or ideas. Thanks so much for joining us and Tech It Easy.